we are gathered here in the sight of God and of his church to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy marriage. This is an honorable estate which God himself has instituted and blessed and by which he gives us a picture of the very communion of Christ and his bride, the church. It's the way that you move and I'm falling in love with you. It's the things that you say, I think you really want to. I can't remember the time on the volleyball court with your tattered jean shorts. It was the look on your face, now I'm falling in love with you. I'm falling in love. I, Christopher, take you, Kara, to be my wife. I, Kara, take you, Christopher, to be my husband. To love and to cherish. Until death parts us. And I pledge you my faithfulness. What better way to start speech than telling you about the first time these two met? Uh, don't worry, Kara, I'll leave out some of the details. We decided to go out and we invited Kara and Chris and a few others, and we're waiting for trivia night to start. We're just bored, so we were like, let's rate the guys at the table, Kara single. And you'd be happy to know that Chris came second to last. On a serious note, you are incredibly lucky and you better take the best care of my moo. If not, you'll be answering to me and the crazy family we come from. <laughs> I wrote this on the napkin here, but it's gonna be professional, I swear. Two page napkin. Chris and I have been pretty close our whole lives. This often ended in some kind of argument, though we weren't always competing against each other. But he did beat me in one thing so far, which is finding a great woman to make his wife. I'm so glad to have Kara join my family, and I can't wait to make memories with these two for years to come and continue to beat Chris and Beard Eye. So I actually want to talk about the time I first met Chris. It was at a volleyball tournament, a huge outdoor volleyball tournament. He was playing a doubles match with his brother and they just lost. And so he was fuming, pacing around, face beat red. And I was a little concerned. I was like, what's gonna happen? We're walking up and the second he sees Kara, his face completely changed on a dime. Pure joy written across it. I'm back for spring semester in January, alumni weekend happens. Kara and I went to the game. Let's go out. What better way to celebrate than going out? That night, Kevin and I stayed up all night. We're panicking. We're like, we're wondering how the conversation's going. Kara comes over at 1 p.m. She goes, you won't believe it. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no, here it comes. She goes, I think I'm going to marry this kid. 